and welcome to Tofu Cute TV where you can get your fill of all things cute, tasty and kawaii. Oh my goodness, it feels like it has been such a long time since we did a video which was just us, like just you guys and me, it's been a really long time. But today we have a very very good reason to be here because I'm going to be showing you the latest Yeast Can plush that have arrived and they are super cute and you need to see them, you need to see how squishy they are and how amazing they are. Just a quick word before I get started, of course in the UK we have just gone into our second like lockdown which means the Tofu Cute shop is is gonna be shut for the month and we're not doing our appointments and we're really gonna miss you guys but we're gonna be working hard to stay safe and keep delivering cuteness to your door all over the world because we want to bring you guys a little bit of happiness and some smiles during these difficult times so thank you so so much for all of your support during the lockdown and yeah we're always gonna be here for you so stay safe everyone if you've not heard of Yeast Ken before, then don't worry, I will try to explain it. So what Yeast Ken is, is a series by the Japanese company Kamiye. It's all different kinds of bread mixed with all different kinds of dogs. And you can imagine this like a Yeast Ken bakery where all of these little dog breads live and have their little daily adventures. And there's so many cute characters and just the plush themselves. So high quality, so soft. They have a Twitter account, which I'll link in the YouTube description, which is incredible. It's just got all of the cutest artwork you'll ever see. We're always looking at it. It's so good. But yes, let's get into it. Ta -da! First up we have this big round marui yeast can, which means round. And it is, yep, very round, very bun-like and just beautiful. This is a Shiba Copper, who is like a Shiba Inu bread and as you can see he's a lovely golden toasty brown with a, a more cream coloured little tummy. At the back here you can see his beautiful little caramel corn tail or cashew nut tail and he's got a butt. Beautiful stitching on, on the butt there I think we can all agree. I really like that with Yeast Can Plush that they don't always just do a basic smiling face, they give them expressions and it really adds personality to them. So that's our Shiba Copper, but there is one other. We have Tosanko! This Tosanko is my favourite one we've ever had because Tosanko always looks angry. He's like a seeded bun little dog and he's always got an angry face but this time his little tongue is poking out and it just it's so cute not only is it a beautiful expression can you see how nice the embroidery is and of course with Tosanko we have a butt as well I'm gonna do a quick squish test just to show you how squishy and wonderful they are if you're looking for a yeast can that would make a good pillow or cushion then I think I think these Marui ones are the way to go. <laughs> Our next delivery from the Yeast Can Bakery is particularly cute. If you're looking for something that has a touch of elegance, a touch of sweetness, then I think you will love these Sakura Yeast Can. Let's start with Tosanku. So he's got his usual grumpy face and it's embroidered wonderfully and he's shown his little teeth. And instead of seeds on his back, this time he actually has sakura petals, um, like the shape of it made from flour that's been sprinkled on top, and a little sakura, like blossom, in the middle. These sakura ones aren't quite as big as the marui ones, but they are just as round just as plump and just as beautiful. We had some lovely customers come into the shop recently and they got themselves a Tosanko because it reminded them of Bakugo from My Hero Academia and I can totally see it. And of course we have our Shiba Kope again with his cute little eyebrows and he looks slightly concerned here but I think maybe he's just like focusing on holding on to that cherry blossom petal. He has a lovely cylindrical roll shape. Can you, can you see that? Very nice. He has the perfect amount of um, sort of squish to him where with yeast can, even if you squish them a whole lot, they always bounce back. Yeah, very resilient little buns. So the cherry blossom petal is actually a separate part and the embroidery is as wonderful as always. I'm really glad that we got a cherry blossom series because the pink details really do just add that extra cuteness. I'd love to see one day maybe like um, tear apart bread Pomeranians that are like fully pink. That would be super cute. So I've saved the best till last and I think you guys are gonna really love this one. We have actually had a smaller version of this 
this one before. I think I featured it in a previous Yeast Can video, but it's just, it's come back, but even better. And I think you're gonna love it. It is the Sausage Dog Hot Dog. Now I say Sausage Dog because I'm still not entirely sure how to pronounce this breed. Please tell me in the comments if you know. I have tried to research. Um, so I always said Dash Hound, but then I heard it's Dachshund and I I just don't know. Tell, tell me how you say s the name of Sausage Dog. I have no idea. So our little sausage dog here is all tucked up in this delicious looking bun which is nice and airy and it's really nice when you feel it in contrast with the actual sausage dog inside because it's kind of like a, a whole experience of different squishiness levels, you know. The underneath is this beautiful cream colour and is always nice and golden brown on the top and does he have a butt? Oh yeah, he does. I like the sausage shaped tail, very consistent with the sausage theme. The slice of lettuce in here is a wonderful touch and it's a generous slice of lettuce. It actually goes all the way around the doggo and the ketchup down the back as well is beautifully done. It's nice and thick and it doesn't feel like it's gonna crack or get damaged. It's, it's quality ketchup. This little hot dog does come in one other variation as well. We've got this one here with a sleepy expression and he looks just as happy but he's got little tired eyes. If you're a fan of sausage dogs or hot dogs or bread, just do yourself a favour and hook yourself up with this or get it as a gift for someone you know that loves sausage dogs. I, I guarantee that they will love you forever. This hot dog just does it for me. It's, it's number one. <laughs> So that is all of the yeast can I have to show you today, but thank you so much for joining me. If you wanted to get hold of your own bread dog or just some Japanese snacks, candy, cute stuff, fun stuff, we've got it all at tofucute.com and we're still shipping all over the world and we're hoping that we can bring you guys some smiles during these difficult times and we really appreciate your support. So thank you so much for watching, see you soon and stay safe. Bye bye!